Know that that's the reason why when you were having miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage, then you had an atopic pregnancy and then you tried again and they said to you, listen, you got to be careful because you might end up the same way your grandmother did. Yes, we your, spoke about that. Your grandmother in spirit was there to help your daughter be born. Your daughter is a miracle. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Shauna. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good. Where are you guys from? Ireland. Ireland. Oh my God. I'm so glad that you're here. We're delighted to be here. <laughs> well, first of all, all right, there's a couple souls that I'm connecting with on the other side. All right. And and who's this with you? That's my mother. Okay. So oh. first of all, did you lose your father? Yes. Okay. So your dad is here and with him, when I'm connecting, I'm also seeing a child that they're bringing through as well. Yeah. I had three miscarriages and one atopic. Okay. So that would be the child that I'm talking about and the children that were lost. Know that those souls are there with your dad on the other side, because he says to me, Matt, your he's talking about your daughter being like a miracle here in this world. Yeah. So the fact that you were born, know that first of all, I got to tell you, it was actually your grandmother that helped you to be born here in this world. Oh so your grand, so that would have been um, your that excuse me, that would have been your great grandmother, your grandmother that had passed. Oh yes, yes. So uh, were you close with your dad's mom, or did you know her? Um, no. She died when she was 28. She okay. died in childbirth. Shut the hell up. This is crazy right now. See, now I don't know your life or what it is that, why people say these things. I kept hearing your, your father telling me in my ear, you know, her grandmother helped her. Her grandmother helped her. Tell her that she's the reason why her daughter made it. Yes, I could well believe that. We spoke about her at the time. That's 35 years ago. Your grandmother died at 28 years old from childbirth? Yes. yes. Know that that's the reason why when you were having miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage, then you had an atopic pregnancy and then you tried again and they said to you, listen, you got to be careful because you might end up the same way your grandmother did. Yes, we your, spoke about that. Your grandmother in spirit was there to help your daughter be born. Your daughter is a miracle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because here's what happens, okay? Your loved ones in spirit do help you. And especially when they went through a challenge, when they went through a struggle here in this world, and it affected their life in spirit. A lot of times they'll watch over their family members here in this world, okay, and help them. Okay. And she says to me when I'm connecting that when, that she had to lose that child and she lost, you know, she had passed during childbirth here in this world. And she's saying to me that on the other side, that's why she came back to help you. Wow, that's brilliant. That's lovely to hear that's that. That's crazy, isn't it? So know that, Shauna, you have this beautiful angel that's with you every day, and that's your grandmother. Mm -hmm, very good. <laughs> because know that one of the things that I, have, that I have to acknowledge is that sometimes when things happen, right, when either we're not supposed to be born or maybe maybe we have an, a difficulty during birth or whatever, sometimes, you know, sometimes it, it kind of changes us. And they're telling me when I'm connected with you, Shona, that you're very heightened to the spirit world. They're showing yeah. me that you're very, very sensitive, that you sense and feel spirits as well. Is that correct? I get, you know, you can, I get, hear songs and stuff and I just go, oh my God, that's such a person. And there you go. Listen, we all connect in different ways. And that's exactly how the spirit world comes through. People think they come through, um, you know, talking full sentences. They don't. They come with signs, symbols, certain music, certain songs, aromas, feelings to let us know that they're there and with us. And know because you had that strong connection with your grandmother, that great grandmother that you never met, know that she's here and that she's watching over you. Very good. Brilliant. And What's crazy as well is that your father who had passed, okay, he first of all wants to let you know that he's okay on the other side. But also when I'm connecting with him, he's saying to me, Matt, he goes, I have to let my daughter know that I'm sorry for some of the things that she had to deal with here in this world. You know, at the end, there were some mental things he was going through. Uh, no, no, he was very clear. His mind was very clear, but he got sick rapidly and died within a week. Wait a minute, he's bringing a memory to me when I'm connecting with him. So when I see that, that means to me that there was either some issues with his memory, that the, the things that were going that he was going through before his passing. Well, he did have a stroke and they didn't pick it up in the hospital. So that could have been, yes. Okay. So listen, yes. spirits will always show me the things that were affecting me. He's bringing this up when I'm connecting. And he's okay. saying to me, my head, my head. So when I hear that, that shows me, okay, that there were, that there were issues that were going on far beyond what we saw on the outside. Okay. And your dad says to me, that's the reason why he didn't make it here in this world. Yes, and I got to yeah. tell you something. I believe that this was more than just a stroke because I see a brain bleed. So when I see that, he showed me there was a big part of his head that that had bled here in this world. Did you have you? Did they tell you that? No, they they practically didn't tell as much because we knew that they hadn't picked up on the stroke, and we had to get him to a different hospital. But he didn't survive there. So. Okay. 
you know. He tells me that it, t- it started to affect his speech at the end. Him oh, not being able to talk and communicate because he's showing me him tr- actually trying to get words out. I'm seeing visions yes. of him trying to mouth things to you, but it's like yes. no sound would come out. Do you understand that? That's, that's true. And your, yeah. your dad tells me that because of this, he never got to tell you a final goodbye because no. he shows me you sitting, you being on the side of him and saying, dad, it's okay. Don't speak. Don't speak because you saw him struggling. And he actually shows me you giving him water and trying to get his mouth uh, moist because he shows me that, uh, that he had this dry mouth where I'm connecting with him. And he says to me, all I wanted to, to let my daughter know was that I was okay. I was okay. And he's acknowledging that. Your father says to me that even though he couldn't speak to you and he couldn't get the words out, he shows me you being on the side of him, you touching him, you laying there next to him. He says, and also he shows me you singing to him. You were singing little songs to him. Well, I, I probably, I spoke a lot to him. I'm sure I did sing. Because this sounds like, like a, almost like Irish, like folk music I'm hearing. So like little songs that like you would sing to a little kid I'm hearing you sing to your dad I probably did because he did that with us when we were children a lot don't ask me what songs there because I'm not Irish I don't know I keep hearing that song it sounds like um like Tura Lura yeah well it's similar to that but not that yes I know what you mean okay so as yes. long as you know what I mean that's all that, that matters because I don't know what I mean to be quite frank I, yes, but I know that your father's telling me that and he's saying to, 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 to me listen he goes I want to let her know that leaving this world was not scary for me he Thank says you. to me that all he felt like your dad tells me that even though there were so many things that were happening he goes Matt he goes I just felt like I was tired and I went to sleep and I passed yeah he was very tired yes he (laughs) says so he says so know that what he wants to let you know from the other side is not only is he okay but he is with you he is watching over you and every single day that goes by he goes please know that my soul is safe and at peace and know that your daughter was was a gift, you know, not only from God, but also from your grandmother that had passed away, his mom. Oh, lovely. That is beautiful. Thank you. You know, I love this too, Shona, because while you're all here, let me just tell you this really quick before I forget, is that when our love, when we go to the other side, right, we our loved ones tell us how they've helped us. So a lot of times there's ways that they help us here in this world that we don't realize. For example, you know, you were having all those miscarriage and that, that atopic pregnancy. And the next thing you know, you're trying to get pregnant with your daughter again. And, you know, you, they were telling you, listen, the risk is really high. You know, normally you wouldn't have known that your grandmother helped with your daughter until one day when you pass away. That's when we're all told. And we actually see the ways our loved ones intervene within our lives. But, you know, yeah. sometimes during a reading, like now your loved ones can come through and validate. So please know that that's something that your dad wanted you to know and your grandmother as well. That's <laughs> really lovely because my dad and I spoke about that very much at the time you know we wondered was she there was she watching out you know so she obviously was she was and thank you she yes was. and I'm going to tell you something your dad was also very scared because he was so nervous about watching what his mother went through. Yes. He didn't want that same thing happening to you. So know that that's one of the reasons why he was so happy, you know, to come through and to acknowledge this and to let you know that you're there at peace. Yeah. Well, that was lovely. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm going to leave you with that. 